Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 and sorry about the fan noise in the back, but it is absolutely sweltering today. Anyway, um, so I just made a uh, mailbox, an opening mailbag, mailbox, whatever, uh, opening video and I'd shown um, my good friend Rourke had sent me this beautiful Mickey and Donald uh, Game & Watch and I can put some batteries in and maybe sort of show you that it works, but uh, there is a small issue I've noticed. Um, you can see it does light up, but it's very dim. And I've read that this is a pretty fairly common problem with the polarizing filters going on these guys, uh, making them appear quite a bit dimmer than they um, they should normally be displaying. So I can uh, turn this on, and you can see uh, here that it works, and you can faintly see an image, but it's very hard to see unless you look at an angle. So let's see if we can open this up maybe and see it. maybe if we can replace the polarizing filter with some um, some replacement ones. Anyway, um, so let's just uh, grab a flathead and carefully open this. And there we go. She's just about ready to open being very careful because this um, flexible ribbon is really fragile and they do sell replacements but I'd rather not have to replace it if I don't have to and so we can see it sort of opens clamshell like this and I can get access to the top side of the board by unscrewing these and let's see yeah just a couple more screws on the top there so let's get those Okay, let's be very, very gentle with this. Just go and close this, sort of. Sort of do the same for here. Sort of pull this partially out of the case. So likely what's going to happen is, this is going to be a pain working on this with, um, these wires attached unfortunately so I'm probably just gonna uh, take this board off get to the other side and actually just um, take a soldering iron and remove these wires so we can start to see the construction here um, basically all the data goes through this bottom part of the board and then there's a, another pressure fit contact on the uh, board underneath the LCD that sends all the data through the top. And you can see exactly how fragile this would be. Uh, there seems to be quite a bit of dirt and grime in here, so I'm going to have to definitely clean that out first. Uh, but first things first, well, I guess it's not too big of a deal. I'll probably just end up re-stripping these wires. So let me just um, get a pocket knife in there and cut those wires off since I'm just going to end up re retinning them and doing all that. I don't have my soldering iron out. I literally just got home yesterday, so I'm still unpacking. So, it's okay to snip these wires. I will sort that out another time once I'm ready to reassemble. So just carefully get that out of the way. And we have these two parts. So, you can see this is, um, I think this is actually two layers. The, yep, the polarizing filter and the um, sort of the image layer. And just to see how well these work, I can maybe rotate the image and see if that makes a difference. It, I, I don't know. It sort of seems that uh, the polarizing filter is starting to go, maybe. Um, but this is going to be kind of hard to test, unfortunately. I'm going to put this back in the shell so I don't jeopardize uh, damaging anything any more than it is. So I'm just going to set this aside very carefully. There we go, tuck these wires in. 
It's only meant as a temporary test. Okay, so the top one is on, I can see. This guy. Yeah, this filter is pretty sure it's gone. There is some sort of uh, burn mark uh, damage. You can kind of see that ring there. And, um, yeah, <laughs> um, that unfortunately is on the rear reflective layer, so chances are I'm not going to be able to get a replacement for that. But it's actually not that bad. Um, but I'm a little bit more worried about this polarizing filter. You can sort of see the colors around the edges are different. It sort of has a yellowish hue there as opposed to the gray. So I wonder if this is burnt. Let me go pull. I might have some polarizing filters for Game Boys. Let me go find one and see if I um, drop it in place if it uh, looks the same. If so, then I'll just buy, uh, buy some spare ones and cut them to the shape and stick them in and hopefully that'll work. So let me see about that. So we are in luck. I actually pulled this, I think, from an LCD. It's kind of matte on one side, glossy on the other. It's a little bit dusty, but um, this should at least demonstrate if it works or not. I can actually... Ooh, it's, it's rough. Because you can just about see the image. But it is quite faded. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can definitely see. So, definitely see that's a lot better. Though, probably using a matte polarizing film like this isn't a good thing because it tends to diffuse the light more. So, I probably will have to find a regular old one. But yeah, I could say definitely that would be uh, much nicer to have. Uh, just for fun, I might just cut out some squares of this since this is easily available. Uh, just using it as a template. So let's just do that quickly. So I'll just stick this on like this. Good enough. So let's just see if I can wedge that in. Gonna have to take the batteries out for this. And it would go in like that. So I believe it was polarizing layer and then background. Make sure I get this the right way around. So it would go like this. And then the LCD. Well, let's see that. Could also be the rear polarizing filter as well. It's going out of alignment. Let's see. Should be able to just kind of poke it out of the way there. There we go. So. Ah, okay, actually, uh, this is just a silver piece of plastic. Oh, this is actually a good sign. It's not the graphic that is damaged. So you can see right here, um, it's sort of burnt and melted almost. I almost wonder if I can flip it over on this side and sort of fit it back in. But anyway, yeah, you can see that maybe I might be able to get a replacement for that, so that's definitely a good sign. And all LCDs have two polarizing filters, so there should be one in the back as well, as long as it's not sealed to the LCD. So this appears to just be the graphic layer, and that's it. So almost wondering if the other filter is, yeah, the other filter is laminated onto this back sheet here. So, yeah, it's probably, I'm going to guess uh, this one that's damaged. This one is kind of yellowed, you can see, but it sort of looks like it works. So, let's just stick this one back on and maybe try to see if we can use this one instead on the back. Let's just cut a little bit of white paper to put on the back there and see how that works out. 
if we can kind of thread that underneath that layer. Ah, this actually has to be smaller. Quite a bit smaller. This is all just experimentation. I know, I, I think you can buy most, um, except for the artwork, you can buy replacement versions of most of these parts. Oh, you can see already how much clearer that looks, wow. So let's just do a quick test now. Actually, that's not half bad at all. I have to put it at a slight angle anyway to see it because uh, this room's kind of dark. Yeah, you can see that is not horrible at all. And that's just with a bit of white cardstock. If I actually got something shiny like this, it would probably, you know, look quite a bit better. Yeah, it's quite a bit noticeable. The bottom is quite a bit darker than the top, so... Yeah, definitely. Let me just go through, and I'll do the top as well, and maybe I might try flipping this over to the silver side and seeing if it, that increases the reflectivity. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, restoration is complete for now at least. I just wanted to show off, this is um, sort of what the screen originally uh, would have looked like. Um, this one I got nearly min actually, it was really odd. It just had a uh, corroded battery terminal and a uh, broken trace on the board, but you can see how um, kind of the contrast should have looked. Versus, this is my uh, repair job basically. And you can see it's it's a bit dimmer because I actually, this is the original polarizing filters are in here. And this guy has uh, the kind of matte polarizing filters unfortunately, which actually makes it a bit dimmer. Um, so I'm gonna hunt around for some um, polarizing filters that, you know, are, you know, just regular glossy ones. You can see everything works though. And um, no more burn marks. So those burn marks were actually on the uh, reflective sheets that, um, these are actually laminated with a polarizing filter. So I almost wonder if I can separate just the polarizing filter because that's the part that burns, then I might be able to actually keep uh, these. I ended up using a bit of white cardstock here and I cut it down to size and it's not as reflective as the original silver backing. So it is also a bit dimmer because of that. Um, Additionally, I'd replace, uh, pretty much these are all the parts here, both front polarizers because they were yellowed. Um, in the center, they're a bit yellow uh, due to sunlight exposure. And so I just went ahead and replaced those to make them um, just nice and minty fresh, basically. But you can see here, I can start a game. I uh, resolder that speaker as well. You can see here, it's one of these dual string games, which are pretty neat. There we go, we're uh, fighting a fire. I'm not sure exactly how to uh, to play this, but... I won, apparently, without trying, one-handedly. Anyway, yeah, you can see everything works. And uh, this is awesome. Thank you, Rourke, I am really digging this. So now my collection... Um, I guess I lost, or something. Uh, my collection now... Uh, consists of two gaming watches um one is the widescreen series this guy octopus and i have a multi-screen uh mickey and donald which is awesome i've been meaning to pick up one of these uh multi-screen games too because they look so darn cool so yeah um this is really awesome thank you Rourke. i can't thank you possibly enough i know these guys aren't cheap they're not easy to come by and I had a lot of fun actually fixing this, and hopefully um, this video turns out pretty well too. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.